Joe, no one knows why it happened. A teenager walked into Atlantic Shores Christian School and started shooting. In 1988, Officer Curtis was only in 8th grade when he was in the room right next to the shooter. The sights and sounds are still very vivid for him 25 years later. We heard what sounded to us like firecrackers uh, just outside the classroom and our teacher just yelled at us to get down. I remember hearing everything, hearing the screaming, hearing him hit the wall when he got tackled um, and our clock fell off the wall. The shooter was Nicholas Elliott. Officer Curtis had been acquainted with him. Elliot's motive was to seek revenge for bullying from another student named Jake. Was um, when he went to shoot at Jake, the gun jammed, um, and so he was trying to get it unjammed, and then he was tackled by the teacher and several students. After having been through such a traumatic event, it impacted a young officer, Curtis, who hoped one day he could prevent such things from happening. You know, if I can be a person that can either stop that before it happens by taking care of somebody who's being picked on or stopping a fight before it happens or before it gets out of control or whatever the case may be or unfortunately if it does go really bad then I want to be the one that stops it. Officer Curtis is always reminded of the shooting as he walks our halls. It makes him think of the what ifs and how he would react. Um, and every day I think about it, I walk in the building and it's always in the back of my mind of, you know, maybe it's for just a two-second thought um, as I'm walking through the halls. Where would I go if this happened? What would I do? After 25 years, Officer Curtis still remembers all the trauma this event caused and it has impacted him to be a better officer and to protect our school. For ONW Now, this is Allison Cook.